Now I'm going to apply the Prima stamp to the third page that I was going to do. And you can see how I already applied it to the others over the, out, um, the Tim Holtz ink. It shows up really well. And I actually used the same ink, just in a different color, over to um, apply the stamps. So you can use the Distress Inks for pretty much anything. You can use them for stamps as well. And it just gives a really cool effect. So I am going to start showing you how I did that using the Prima they're pronounced Tambor Transparents, and they're pretty small squares, and they come in all different um, designs. We have roses and paisley. Um, this is one of the ones I used for the first page. Kind of reminds me of like a Spanish mosaic tile. And this one I'm going to use for this page is um, just like stripes with a little bit of dots in between. It's really cool. So I'm interested to see how that's going to turn out. First, I'm just going to take the stamp, the acrylic stamp, and apply it to my block. And for this one, um, I'm going to use the Distress Ink Brush Corduroy. And just press it all around. I like to, again, make sure I get it on there everywhere really good. I even press down in the middle of the block. And I love these clear blocks. If anybody has never used them, what's great is for what I'm doing, I'm just going to be connecting them so that it looks like, like one big stamp. And if it was a wood block, it would be hard to do that because you can't really see where you're applying the stamp as well. So with this, I can see straight through where my lines end. So I'm just going to lift it up a little bit and get it right where I want it, up against the edge. And apply it and I've actually is pretty easy to just hold it up and press it down with your fingers underneath and do the same thing apply and all done with this Prima stamp and the block itself is actually um, an apple pie block that we do carry here so if you were um, looking to find some acrylic blocks you can get those at our website customcrops.com so just look for the um, Prima Tambor transparent stamps on our website. Um, they will come in a lot more than what you see here. We're, they're pretty new, so we're still getting them in. But they're great because, like I said, you can cover a whole page with them, and you don't have to just use it as a single stamp. You can just keep adding them and maybe even combine all of them if you wanted to make a really crazy page. So just look for them on our website.